China has locked up over 300 intellectuals in detention camps, says report. Here's a summary of the article. The Chinese regime has detained hundreds of Uyghur and other Turkic Muslim intellectual and cultural elites in its sprawling network of detention camps in China's northwestern Xinjiang region, a report has found. A report titled, The Disappearance of Uyghur Intellectual and Cultural Elites, a new form of eliticide, published on December 8 by the Uyghur Human Rights Project, a human rights advocacy group based in Washington, D.C., found at least 312 intellectual and cultural elites were currently being held in some form of detention in the region. The Chinese government persecution of Uyghur and other Turkic Muslim intellectual and cultural elites constitutes a significant component of China's genocidal campaign in East Turkestan, Xinjiang, the report states. The UHRP's report highlights three persecuted Uyghur elites, all of whom were detained or disappeared in 2017. Uyghur literature teacher and poet, Gulnisa Ayman, was reportedly detained for her ideas about preserving and promoting the Uyghur language and culture. UHRP's report noted that the Chinese communist regime has long persecuted and suppressed Uyghur elites and their freedom, ramping up pressure particularly on those who speak out against rights abuses committed against the Uyghur people. The current assault on Uyghur intellectual and cultural elites from 2017 onward represents a significant escalation of persecution, as even Uyghurs loyal to the state and party are now subject to absurd allegations such as being two-faced, i.e., politically hypocritical, said the report. This post received a score of 5,900, with an upvote ratio of 92%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Wait I've seen this one. We all have. It's on repeat every few years in China. It's nothing new and will be a change till the Chinese people want it to. Which they won't. They need people smart enough to make them money but not so smart that they start asking questions. Greater than in a statement to Newsweek, Saleh Hudaya. Prime Minister of the East Turkestan government in exile, said that Uyghur cultural, intellectual, and business elites are being disappeared, as a component of China's ongoing genocide and colonization in East Turkestan. The same Saleh Hadea that praised the USA for taking Etam, a terrorist organization responsible for thousands of deaths in China, off of the global terror list. What in the fuck is Newsweek doing? Not only is East Turkestan not a real thing, He's gone so far as to recently deny the existence of ETA altogether. Good thing there is still video evidence of U.S. military drone striking Taliban and ETIM. The only reason why the United States removed ETIM from the terror list and not the United Nations, is so that the United States can publicly fund ETIM and allow their population to donate to ETIM so they can continue to plan their terrorist attacks against China. Business as usual for the mid, CIA, NED. Democracy as a guise for more war crimes by proxy. Also for anyone actually interested in this and not here to just shout, China bad. Here's a, video, from the Uyghur Tribunal, which recently stated that, China does genocide by birth control, where you can see a presenter of a report backed by the UHRP compiled database, used as proof to make the claim of missing intellectuals in the article, being questioned on how they came up with this data. To cut it short, she's not able to provide concrete arguments, proof for claims made in the report. Tribunal YouTube, channel, where you can watch the whole hearing. Oh, it's hilarious. I wish I have the full clip. So when Dame Professor Parveen Kumar asked, around 340 how Chinese families are allowed two children in the city and minorities three in the villages and that is contradictory to how the claims are women in the villages are forced to have IUDs but in the city women aren't but may lose their jobs, the presenter said well all reference are in our paper and the professor just kind of went oh you can't answer that well carry on then, never mind me. I like how she is able to ask sharp questions and then was like well, I guess I shouldn't have asked that. Greater than Dame Professor Parveen Kumar Professor Dame Parveen Kumar This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.